Hello and welcome to the Lost Art Podcast. I'm Paul and I'm here with Gar. Nin, nin, nin. Today. Well, we've had it, well, just, just before we tell you what we have for you mm-hmm. today, what episode we're going to do, we, um, we have had a year of this podcast. This is the first oh, one after the year. year. We're in year two, in season two yep. now. And we always said that we wouldn't do um, part two is really until season two. So here we fucking are. And straight off the bat, we're going straight into a part two. And it's part two of one of your favorite ones, yep. which was abominations yeah uh, stinky songs shite bag songs yeah dirt poo poo filth flying filth Muck. songs yeah <laughs> so we're back with another 12 absolutely shockingly bad songs <laughs> okay. i think what i've done this time is I've, I've gone a little bit more controversial this than i did last time i think when you look at our last list um it had stuff like is it who let the dogs out with you mm. no nope. fuck sorry fuck just saw that there. <laughs> well, totally. I certainly hope it comes up later. <laughs> <laughs> like, what you know was the what? shit? What do you pick last time that reminds me oh, of that crazy one? frog or something like that? Yeah, really yeah. it yeah. was full of. Uh, <laughs> do you want to start that again? No, no, keep going. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, Jeannie Mac, I might have, I might have mentioned the war. Don't mention the war. Mm. I might have mentioned it earlier, but I think I got away with it. Um, so yeah. This is. I was going to give a rundown of the original list, and I decided to start reading off the uh, new one, so I wanted to. We are going to go straight into it. Listen, you know the deal from the last time. Abomination songs that are just absolutely awful. You're not going to agree with a lot of these, but this is the thing: is it's our podcast, and we're right. And that's just yeah. Sort of I, I don't know. I, I'm seeing a few here that like. I used to, actually, I like some of your ones. I'm not going to lie. Like them. for real? Okay. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, maybe two. F- for real? Like as in, I think they're good songs. I bet you I know which ones they are. Let's look again. Uh, I bet you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, there's a couple of songs on that I'd actually like. Yeah. For real? Okay. So, yeah. All right. It's okay, though. I mean, that's perfectly oh, fine. Hang on, hang on. Who's wrong then if it's both of us? Doesn't matter. We can't, neither of us can be wrong, so that's how it works. Listen, without further ado, who is your first abomination? Absolute abomination. <laughs> yeah. Part two. Uh, I picked uh, Techno Head with I Want to Be a Hippie. I can't listen to that song. Oh, it's so bad! It's, it's, so it's bad. I, don't, I don't even know if it's bad. It's salt. It's not even a. It's a salt on the fuck. I don't think it's of the senses. It's like something Gordon Ramsay said. It's an assault on the senses. It's yeah. look. It's a. It's too. It's too much. I can't deal I, with this. I thought you said it's salt. Like just salt on the salt. Yeah, it's just it's, salt. It's, it's mad it's salt. salty. It's just a bit of salt off a slug's back. <laughs> like there's no there's no meat or spuds. It's just salt. Just That's what I, was, I went too deep on your team. It, it is was actually, that, that was actually real funny. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not wrong because it is like just, it is just like taking a dash of salt and it's, it's oh, it's too much. It's just it's a season, much. but like it's, it's not anything. It mean, it's not on anything. It means nothing. Uh, yeah, listen, <sighs> uh, this came out in 1995. I, 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 I was going, so I wanted to kind of dig deep on loads of these songs and I wanted to see if there was like a cause and effect situation as here's, to like why is this bad here's the issue though loads of these are probably one hit wonders uh, there's not a lot of information on this a lot of these bands are just simply not good at doing music yeah. or some of them are so it is hard I know what you're saying it is it can be hard to you are saying that it's like it's just tough yeah, to find some like, inf- I went yeah. I was rooting around and like the problem I came across is that I'm research I spent two days um, researching all this stuff and I came up with precisely jack shit on, but that's why, yeah, on well, any that's, of them well that's okay but that's this is, thing, this is the thing we're talking about why we don't like them well I think we said for the last abominations we purposely didn't read too much into it in case yeah. we found something really cool like oh that was a charity single for uh, to little yeah. children and yeah. an orphanage that pouring down and we're like that makes me feel a bit oh, so, there was one that I had in here I had that uh, I had that fucking um Fucking big shack, man's not hot. I oh, had that on there. Bad. Yeah, but I only found out it's like a joke song. So I was like, ah, that's right. Because uh, no, I, I thought that was real. Because no. I don't Come watch right. telly. Yeah, man's I, not hot. Yeah, I honest to God thought that was real. And even when I read that it was like a kind of a parody song, I was like, but it sounds like a lot of that, re- a lot of the rest of fucking grime. Not all of it. Well, maybe maybe that's great great grime. pop 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 grime. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe that's maybe what it is. Pop grime. People in grime seem to have like shots at each other if it's too poppy yeah i don't know anyway i had to I had to get rid of that but this this uh <laughs> techno head this is fucking mad weird techno head was like a three-piece band it was a husband and wife combo and a third guy i didn't even write that name down because i really don't care 
Um, but they've had so many names of bands, right? So this is check this out, right? You got Technohead, aka Tricky Disco, GTO, John and Julie, Church of Ecstasy, Science of Chaos, TD5, Salami Brothers, Killout Squad, LED, The Man. And solo. That's all. Like, they've released music under all of those guises. I know some of those words. Yeah. Not bands, though. Uh, actually, uh, ec- something of ecstasy. What was that? Um, uh, uh, what's to say? Church of ecstasy. But I that think, sounds familiar. Yeah. They, they started. They started in 1985, and they were just. I think they they had like the studio, and they just fucking. They had this plan where they were just going to mob. Um, the, the clubs and radio stations with music because they thought if they put everything under the techno head guys then the radio stations might not play all their stuff right so if they release right. 10 songs in a week and they're all under techno head radio station are not going to play all 10 songs so they That's released all true. yeah they all, released all 10 new fresh cut every yeah. time yeah, yeah exactly very good. so they just they just gave um, they just gave every song pretty much a new name and then this one was the big one that hit I'm going to play a little bit of it we're going to try and play a few mm. samples here uh, I'm only going to play a few seconds because it's, 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 it's absolute fucking dirty. quite enough of that it's catchy uh, but a lot of these songs are catchy it doesn't mean it's good oh you know what i sort of warmed to it that bit that you just played i was like oh because you know what it's nostalgic because nostalgia get in the way of my oh, yeah. I, it's not a good song nostalgia is one of those things that like it puts the fucking ringer on you nostalgia like you really it does like you'd be thinking that's dirt that's dirt and then you listen to it yeah. and you go ah is it though and then you stop listening to it and then the next day you go oh, jesus christ that's so bad like it's real hard it's real hard for me to differentiate between the yeah. fuck we had eating He-Man jellies while well, that song was out. And, exactly. Uh, whenever I'm fucking playing with 18, I don't, I don't know what age I was. It was not, that's no, care, no care in the world. I was 14. Do you know what I mean? All your, all your bones worked yeah, properly. I was your bodies e- eating good, fucking good climbing shape. trees, you know, yeah. smashing windows and trains to my boy and cabra, that type of thing. Having the, living the days of my life. It was like the beginning of a Stephen King uh, movie, not even a novel. Um, yeah. minus, minus the clowns and the fucking kids and the bullies and the space turtles yeah all that type of shit and uh, then I associate like songs like this with that era and then I hear the song and I go oh, do you remember do you remember big time bars oh my god that's what the happens kick, the kick drum in this is so aggressive yeah but that's a Gabber song like it's not yeah. now apparently what they what, um, actually we gave it about Gabber on a, on a podcast a while ago it's just a it actually there was worst, no, genre, worst genres worst genres, genres yeah, that, yeah. that should not yeah. exist yeah. this kind of bridges bridged fucking uh, techno and rave and fucking Gabber and when they made the video they just took a load of Gabber guys in the Netherlands and followed them around acting the bollocks and that was the video for this listen it's oh, just really? shy, yeah. it's just shy it just hurts me to hear it. It's fucking repetitive, painful scutter that's literally... Uh, yeah, like that bit you played there, I can handle that. And yeah, well, that's why I picked it. No. That, 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 that little slice I gave you there has kind of like the verse, the bridge, and the chorus. And yeah. That's like 30 seconds of it. And that's fine. But the fucking song is five minutes long. You know what I mean? So you can imagine listening to that. <laughs> like for five minutes. Are you fucking mad? Without the pills? And the fucking 18 litres of water? No. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know what? It's okay to put that, that song in a time capsule and forget about it now. Yeah. Let someone else find it. Fucking out of space. space. There's, no, there's no reason, even for ironic purposes, to play that song anymore. No, it's done. I've had its time. I don't uh, hate it. I don't hate it, but it's like... There's times, and it's 99% of the time, I don't want to hear that. Maybe yes. for this podcast, and I heard that little clip, that's enough for me for now. That's forever. you done for, Actually, for, for a couple yeah. of years, and anyway. Yeah, yeah, definitely. 100%. I'm done. Like, yeah. we, we, in about 10 years' time, we'll do like, Do you remember podcast? And that one might yes. be on it. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Uh, that was Techno Head with I Want to Be a Hippie. Uh, I, I believe that um, I wrote down where that sample came from, it was something interesting, and then I scribbled it out. 
because I didn't want to make, I didn't want to have anything good to do with them. But uh, <laughs> who, who is your first one? I want you to just play it because it's going to get me in trouble with loads of people. All right, let me, let me. This is in the, yeah, this is on abominations now, so. And I try. Oh my God, do I try? I try. And I pray Oh my God, do I pray I pray for single day For revolution Into a place of times When I'm lying in bed Just to get it all out What's in my head And I, I am feeling A little peculiar There, I said it. You That's did a say shite it. song. I hate that song. I've always <laughs> hated it. I don't care. I haven't warmed to it. For sometimes I think when I see so many people sign up for it and go, going, "Is this a good song?" People love. People love this fucking song, man. Yeah, they I know they do. But the, like, I, I don't hate this song, and I tell you why I don't hate this song. Because uh, it boggles me. It puzzles me because I don't know if your one is a really good singer or shite. Yeah. That's it. Right. She's got, but like, do you know what, right? What her style of singing there, I hate it. But you can tell there's bits, especially like just coming up to the chorus. She's definitely got notes. 100%. Yeah, yeah she, she can that. hit the notes. I mean, at least the computer they recorded her through can. But like, that but fucking. But it sounds like she's doing crazy faces. We're just like, no. Yeah, no. but it's that Janice Joplin yeah. fucking effect. Do you know what I mean? It's that fucking. Rah! But then it's like, but then it's all creepy and zany mm. and I fucking can't stand this song, man. I don't well, like it. Well, well, the same sure. three chords, just fucking ladder, rinse yeah. and repeat in the background, like a fucking well, shitty jar of fucking head and shoulders. It's it's one of them like my first guitarist's fucking songs. You know what I mean? Well, it kind of is. Like, the, like I think she <coughs> lived in a gaff with the band. They're like, I think they're the first all lesbian female band to go top forty. Are they all lesbians? Yeah. Are they all, think- are they all women? I don't even remember. I remember your one had a big hat. No, there's about five lesbian blokes in the band. <laughs> I don't know. If there are. <laughs> yeah, I think there might have been a dude in the band at some stage. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I didn't really read. I, I don't care enough about four non blondes. The name yeah. I, the name annoys me. I get it. Is there not blondes? Oh, 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 oh. I know. It's I think name. Some, there's something about their neighbor was blonde and they used to knock around with their neighbor. And Ugh. Ugh. Even the name Look. of the song bothers me. You know, what's do you know up? Why they, actually, do you know why it's called What's Up? Oh. It's because... What's going on was already taken by a good song. Yeah. What's going on is Marvin Gaye, so you can't call another song. What's going on? Do they even say the word words "What's up" in that song? Does no. They say what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. But they can't. They can't. They can't call it that. Um, I'd say it used to be called that, maybe, but then they went. You know what? Let's not call it. That. Let's just call it "What is going on?" Question mark. Instead of let's what's just going call. On. Let's just call it "Why." Yeah. Why did you yeah. do this song? Yeah. Um, it's actually a stripped down version of the one they did for their album. It's more close to the demo version. This is? Uh, yeah, because Jimmy Iovine came in and went, no, 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 no. Really? What's this? What's this? I heard a demo version. What's this new version? Oh, they overprodu- like, did overproduce it, but no, stripped this all back down to the original thing. Because uh, uh, he signed them to Interscope. Hmm. Um, still five minutes long, the fucking thing. It's a five. Oh, yeah, fuck, it's yeah. Oh, because it breaks the back down to the, the Cars, lyrics yeah. are non, the lyrics are nonsense. Here's it's the thing: that me. I read a good few interviews with the band. They seem fine, whatever. They, they're happy enough to just have that hit, and then they broke up, whatever. Only one album. Of only, one album. only one song. Let's be honest. With you. Let's be brutally honest. Let's be brutally honest. And um, they all said the thing we loved about this song is like we go to gigs and we noticed that everyone was singing it. I'm like, yeah, because. Yeah. There's no lyrics to it. Yeah, of uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, of course everyone's singing it. Like, yeah, but like, it's crazy. We saw people in different countries and they were all singing it. Like, yeah. yeah, again, I have right. to bring back to the point that yeah. the chorus is, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's languageless. Yeah. Like, like, 
the chorus is catchy nonsense. It's fine to have catchy nonsense and all, mm. but it's not like they're the the crowds in Colombia are singing back politically poignant oh, yeah. st- st- stuff like wow I can't believe they're literally yeah. getting into the, whole mix, the Nixon thing yeah no man <laughs> I could the morning and I step outside I, and I take a drip and I drip it was spooky <laughs> I'm a witch <laughs> I, I has a big hat I am crazy weird and I have to sing. Oh, I was singing the same way for a couple of seconds and I would change it. No, fuck, man. It's a fucking... <laughs> it's, you know what it is? It's a tie-dyed fucking song. <coughs> yeah. A tie-dyed t-shirt in the form of a song. Very um, much. It's, it's one of the songs I would actually think, prefer to hear in the style of a watered-down like pop cover, you know, like that. Yeah, maybe, yes. Yeah. what's going on. Oh, yeah, like one of them uh, trailers. Better. Trailer music, better, yeah, trailer. Because yeah. it would be better because because I can't stand this uh, weird that that zany type of fucking that full jazz, that, yeah, it's full jazz belt singing that full, full fucking, belt yeah. singing butters the shit out of me. And then butters back the down to yeah. and you can imagine the face. I mean, not a face. You see oh yeah, scrunch. It's li- it's the Linda Perry. Look, yeah, she's an okay yeah. songwriter. She shoulders wrote, up. She, she wrote she wrote this for a start. Not into it. She wrote. Get this party started by Pink into it. She wrote "Beautiful" for Christina Aguilera, which is one of the shittest fucking lyrically shittest song I've ever heard. That, is that that you are beautiful? You're beautiful, no matter, what they say. no matter what they say. Please don't bully me in school. Yeah, that's fucking fuck. ugly, ma anthem like. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fucking like, is. Well, like, yeah, it's weird. Like, I don't know. I just think it's the schmaltiest fucking. Garbage. It's, oh God, it's garbage, garbage music. Yeah. So yeah. that's for as well. Or people with one people with one eye and fucking twelve fingers to feel better about themselves. Oh Pink thinks <laughs> I'm great. You know what I mean? No. No, Chris Christina. Pink just wanted to get the party started. Actually, Pink would be would be one of the ones, but she she's better at it. Pink's better at making Pink, people feel Pink better. does a bit of fucking yeah. belting as well though. Which I'm not well, she does. Well that's she's a massive fan of Linda Perry. That's why she was like, get get yeah. Linda Perry to be a songwriter. Yeah, so I can, yeah. Linda Perry had written with that many people, like famous, famous, famous people before that. Maybe. I don't know. Listen, I don't really have a massive issue with the way the song goes. The lyrics are garbage, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, mm. It's the it's the voice, it's the way it's sung, and it's and it's the fact that everyone loves it and it's not a good song. So there. It's not I said it. It's a, actually it's an abomination. It is an abomination. I said it. It's, it's abomination. It does my fucking nut in. Who's your next one? <laughs> my next one is Yellow with Oh Yeah. I love this song. I fucking despise the song. Oh, with boy, all boy. All of the fucking empty chambers really? of my heart. I cannot listen to this repetitive scutter. Give me it a bit of it. Y'all know table. it. Y'all know, but give me a bit. Give me a bit of this. This is, this, man, now, because people, uh, yeah, before we get into it, they have to know. They have yeah. to know. <laughs> fucking garbage. <laughs> The moon. Fuck off. Beautiful. Bueller. I can't. I just fucking cannot. Um It's very Bueller. <sighs> And it's yeah. uh, yellow. Yellow are great. I love them. I, it's that the it's, I know it's the first Viola song. Like <laughs> it, it, it's actually it was using a bunch. I was using like American Pie and everything. I was using a lot of shit. But yeah. um, it's it's actually really good. Mont uh, sneaky montage. That's what it's for. It's for a sneaky montage. Someone's like, or someone dropped something, and they're like, shit. I have to fix this thing I dropped. Yeah. And they're gluing the vase back together. Boom, boom. <laughs> and, and you can see the car. The car is pulling closer to the yeah. driver. Boom, boom. Oh yeah. Um it it was two guys, right? Um fucking uh, Dieter Meyer and Boris Blank were the two guys. Yeah. And Dieter was like the vocalist and they done a little bit of keyboardy kind of stuff as well. And Boris Blank was kind of the, the musical guy. Yeah. Now, they didn't they they're Swiss. They call themselves a Swiss electronic right, kind of yeah. pop group. But like they were electronic and they weren't at the same time. Most of their music came from uh, tape machines. They used like um, multi-track tape machines and fucking quarter-inch tape machines on, 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 on as like loop stations and shit. So while they had keyboards, most of their music, you can hear it there in that. 
it's because it's just repeating itself over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. The, the back, the back beat of it is the exact same. Then every now and again they just throw a fucking little bongo in it. Uh, it bothers <laughs> shit out of me. Uh, I, can see, I can see why over the people. I keep because it, it takes ages to kick in as well. Yeah, it just c- continues on and on and on. <coughs> I read something interesting. <coughs> Fuck off! I'm dying. <coughs> there we go. He's got the vid. Um, I don't. I fucking I forgot to open the window. That's why I'm just fucking roasting up here. Um, Mears, uh, Dexter Mear, the fucking uh, singer guy, his father was a professional gambler. So when he was born, he was born a millionaire. That's right, yeah. Right. I thought so, he was... Uh, I thought he was... Uh, okay, no, I won't break into right? your story. I thought so, there was a different reason he was... No, he, what he done was uh, he went out and he done all the music. That was a bit of crack and he fucking... He, as far as I know, he funded that group. Um, yeah. He'd done a few other kind of bits of musical malarkey, whatever. And he ended up... Uh, he started a lot of companies. Uh, he started a shitload of companies that like he makes watches out of tin cans and he I don't know why I thought he was an architect he has he has about eight companies going he's worth yeah. about, he's, yeah, he's worth about 200 million dollars fucking um, hell but like I said he was born a millionaire which see, like the only way to make money seems to be to, to have money to begin with um, he, he makes high end uh, audio studio equipment he owns a lot of restaurants um, he has a bunch. Does he, of does he buy Tauberon? Did he? He should have bought. Tauberon. He should have just bought Tauberon or them Twin Peaks bars that they sell in uh, in deals. deals. They taste the exact same. They're only one fifty. They don't taste the exact same. I think I get the get the. Uh, don't they get have the original good versions. One. Yeah, don't get the original one. That doesn't taste great. You get the one that has the um, uh, the honeycomb in it as well. It's delicious. Uh, I got the pop and candy one. It's okay. Uh, like, they're all right. I don't it's get good. pop and candy. It's very good, but to be honest, to be honest with you, that's gotta be Tauberon. Swiss Blitz. I told to you're around your, your only man, but the fuck, then Twin Peaks bar for 150. It's a good oh, deal, yeah, man. you can't beat those. 150, you get one of those little farty, little farty yeah. bars. Yeah, shite. You get a shite one. Um, anyway, yeah. uh, Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yellow. Uh, yeah, this song hurts me. It's Every time I hear it, I DJ'd it once because someone asked for it, and I was like, I know that song. And I couldn't actually remember what it went Who with. asked for that? Someone, that that's a song yeah, you don't request. Yeah, but someone did. And I hit play on it. And within seconds, I went, oh, no. Oh, that's that one. I hate when that, that happens. That oh, that's that one. Oh, I trusted you. Yeah, because you know, some of you're just an autopilot. You're like, fuck, it's hit play. I've got for smoke. Whatever. You don't, exactly, you're already gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I mean? I checked out. So you might as well go outside for a cigarette. I go for a slash. Mm. Um, yeah. And I got stung with it. And I, it just r- fucking refueled the hatred I have for this song. It just bothers the shit on me. Boom, boom. <laughs> Oh, yeah. no, absolutely not! Like the fact that he can say, says he's a fucking vocalist, you know what I mean? It uh, bothers the shit out of me. I can't, I can't get into too much more him because he's fucking. Yeah, no, it's and it's, this, this is not the one that bothers me as much um, on this podcast, but on this list and anyway. But th- this just, it's just repetitive drone and shit, and I, it bothers the life out of me. Uh, who yeah. is your next one? My next one, um, but you can't have an abominations playlist without uh reggae or ska yeah and the worst type of ska or reggae is as you well know white ska or oh reggae. torture however this is from the best band in the world this okay. is from the beatles have an uh, abomination oh bloody oh they do have an abomination that's a garbage song that's so shit yeah, that is not a good thing. That's like someone played them a fucking reggae song once, and that sounds right. That's I can hear Here, that. Here's a funny thing, right? I can name three people who hate this song more than me. Really? Ringo Starr, uh-huh. George Harrison, and John Lennon. <laughs> oh yeah, fucking hate it. I know, and you fucking and hate it. Yeah, because he wrote it, yeah. and apparently they were in the studio for ages trying to get it right. And you know what? Do you know what's bad, right? If if your mate has, if you're doing a song, if you're doing a song in a band, and your mate wants to get it right, ground. But if it's shite, mm. it just it, it tempers boiled over. One of the other producers they had, the secondary producer or something like that, maybe the guy who was doing this one, if it wasn't George. Uh, no, no, one of them left. To go, mm. I can't deal with the band fighting anymore. I'm out here. Uh-huh. And geez, Ringo Starr didn't even really ever piss He never off. fought. He just told he, he was told. He sang Octopus's Garden for fuck's sake. Yeah. That's a, that's a banger compared to this. <laughs> Actually, that's not. Dum, 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 dum. That's fine. This is Jamaican style ska. Yeah, Paul McCartney was into because it was coming into the seventies, and it was, it's it's obladi oblada is a popular phrase by the singer Jimmy Scott, who's a London-based Nigerian musician, 
who said, um, sorry, that's mine. Obla di, obla da is my mm. saying. And Paul McCartney was like, that's not really a saying. And he's like, no, it is. And it's my saying. I say it at my gigs. Yeah. I say obla di. The crowd says obla da. And then I shout, life goes on. Oh, I was like, hang shit. on a second. You never said life goes on as part of it as well. <sighs> so he, uh, Jimmy Scott brought it to court and failed because you're not going to be Paul yeah. McCartney. Jeez. And Paul McCartney was super pissed off apparently that A, people hated it and B, mm. this music press sided with Jimmy Scott. Of course they did. The music press was like, hang on, that's, like we like you know Beatles, yeah, but that's uh, That's a lift. Yeah. Yeah, John Lennon especially fucking hated it and I have to agree with him. It's just, yeah, do you know garbage. what? Garbage. As well, um, it, Harrison hated it so much he wrote a song called Savoy Truffle which he talks about hating the song sort of really in that and um, that's, that was only recorded three months later but that was that no that was still the Beatles yeah, yeah I'm trying to figure out what was it for his own stuff no it was mm. a Beatles song uh, but what is sweet now turns to sour we all know obladi oblada but can you show me where you are now or something like that so yeah. some where he's like no one is talking about that song now but they did re-release it uh, they all vetoed releasing it as a single Really, Paul McCartney was like absolutely 100% single. They were like, we're all saying now. This is garbage. But you know, play a little bit of it there. Um, yeah, go on, play a little bit of it there. Yeah, you know the song, but there's a bit I want to make a point about. A, sh- a shite. Yeah, like it's absolutely. Not, it's not just meh Beatles. Yeah. The Beatles have a way of taking so many risks in music that it can blow up badly. Yes. Like, they didn't, they didn't really, they have a few meh songs, but mostly it's amazing or yeah. fucking shite. Yeah. Like, annoying. They go out of their way to take such a risk with different things. Look, fucking hell though, man, that's, that's bad. Like, it's, it's really, real bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real bad. And uh, I can't, I can't deal with that song. And, what annoys me about it as well, like this, it's it's that like real literal song where he's like, "There's been in the marketplace, Molly," yeah. and there's a song, there's a song about a, a couple that gets together. But that was done four years earlier by mm. Chuck Berry, and they're mm. forever rock stuff off Chuck Berry. Because do you remember that Chuck Berry song? It's one from Pulp Fiction. You never can tell. Yeah. It, it was the t- city, yo, yeah. folks. Let's go to the and even can't tell. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. So that's song about like. It's a young couple getting mm. off the ground and like struggling for money, but it, it working out. And then Say La Vie is a little bit like life goes on. Yeah. A little bit like it. And it's, it's called That's Life or That's How Life Goes, but it's sort of the same. And I just think that's a double rip off. So it's like tr- four years before Chuck Berry had that song. And it's like a, a kind of a plodding along <laughs> song. His one was way better because he doesn't yeah. use ska for a start. So it's yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's already ahead of the mark. Yeah. Like. And I like that. Uh, you never can tell. Yeah. It's a great song. Great little song. Uh, Say la vie, oh bloody. This is not. This is and not then, what song. And then, then he steals off that, that Nigerian musician. Uh, I think he did anyway. It looks like he he took a little bit too much, didn't credit them. Because the Beatles are not going to credit people. No, they're not. Just they take are so it. Locked down. Just take it. And the Beatles. It's a Beatles now, song. I'm not saying that Paul McCartney didn't write incredible songs, but this is a true abomination. Yes. Whenever I hear it, like when people slag the Beatles and I'm getting into it, going, no, the Beatles are incredible. And they say, they say this, they sort of like played carte blanche and I have to back away from the argument then. Mm, mm. They sort of pulled out the big guns with Obladi. It is a big so that's, that's the Beatles, Obladi, Oblada, 1968. Uh, I hope I never hear it again. I know it will. If they never played it live, the band refused to play it live. But that, no, hang on. They didn't play it live because they never played live at this stage. Yeah, they would have been done. They, just they, but they, would, they, they wouldn't have played it anyway. No. And Paul McCartney only started playing it live in 2010 or 11 onwards. So if you're lucky enough to see him live, you would have heard that. Yeah. Who's your next one? My next one is Afro Man with Because I Got High. Just don't know. It's, fu- it's fucking shy. I, it's, I, yeah. I, it's, okay, it's hard to know whether to tear into pop novelty songs. But, but he tried with this song, I think. It, this, this is not a novelty song. Um, yeah. This is a real song. 
uh, it kind of became a novelty song, but it wasn't supposed to be. Yeah. So uh, he was born Joseph Edgar Foreman, and he was like a like a DJ, MC, fucking producer, kind of just just doing whatever the fuck he could to make a few yeah. bob. And uh, he was just pumping out fucking albums. And he decided uh, Napster was a thing. And he put this song out on Napster. And it got loads of fucking traction. And then all of a sudden, uh, he they played it on the Howard Stern show. Oh, right. And that was the end of it. it. It just fucking exploded. It was all over the place. Then he fucking, he, he got so he got a deal with Universal. He went on um, the Open Smoke Tour with Cypress Hill. Uh, signed a six album deal with Universal. And then, as far as I know, from what I can make out, he got dropped very quickly. Six albums based on that six song. Oh, they probably, they song. probably thought he's going to have six albums in the space of a few months yeah. if he's a workaholic. Like, but did they? Did they listen? Did anyone listen to his other stuff? I don't think so. Um, by the time of us recording this, Afro Man has released thirty-two albums. Oh, thirty-two albums, including and, and most of those now have been independently released. Here's so something no, for you no to do if you're, if you're listening to this podcast, right? If you have time, I don't have the time or the energy to do this. And I know Gar doesn't. I want you guys to find a good Afro Man song. Please. Somewhere. That's not a, crazy rap. That's, that's not crazy rap. Not allowed to pick crazy rap. Boy, um, call, oh yeah, yeah. Call 45, whatever it's called. You're not allowed to pick that. That's a fucking dirt song as well. That's 20 minutes long and only mutants like it. It's a terrible abortion of a song. This is just worse because I got high as worse. But people will always say, because I give out with the song all the time, I'm getting angry now. Because I had a certain period in my, in my life where every fucking weekend I DJ'd and the same fucking three people would ask me for Call 45, for crazy rap. Oh, yeah. Man. And I had to keep playing it. And fucking everybody was enjoying themselves in, in, in the place. But me, I'm looking at them all going like, what the fuck have I missed? Am I missing yeah. something here? Because this is fucking shite. This is fucking dirt. So you're not allowed to pick that song. Don't play that song me. Pick something I never heard before. So no, like, people are going to have to fuck, go digging deep. I'm not doing that. Pick, take an album each. Take an album that's closest to your birthday. I don't know, whatever, or a good year in your life. But come back to it and then we'll review it on the radio show and see if you yeah. are indeed correct. No, I don't think anyone's going to do that. I hope, I hope not. So I don't have to listen to fucking Afro Man again. Um, that's a very had, good point. Had quite enough. Uh, in 2015, he was arrested for uh, hitting a woman on stage in Mississippi. I remember hearing about that. Yeah, now, That's not very chilled out for a yeah. fucking downer, is it? Ooh. Now, apparently, apparently... I knocked a woman's teeth in because I got high. Yeah. Um, apparently, it was kind of... He said it was a mistake, and a lot of people said it was a mistake. Some woman got up on the stage, locked, and kind of fucking crept behind them, and fucking, whatever, grabbed them by the shoulders or whatever to give them a Hang on, hang on. This is slightly different. What? That's, this is a slightly different story. Mm. Creeping up on someone when they're singing can be... Oh, yeah. for anybody. It's detrimental to your health. It's ha- we've seen it happen a thousand times on stage. It's it's different. You you you. Jesus, there's certain things you can't do. No, I'm yeah. not. I, like if he turned around and went, "Hey, you, you're a woman on the stage," and then punched her, but if you flipped it and just didn't know yeah. what, if because you sometimes if you're on stage, you always have in the back of your head. I would imagine if you're on a big stage, there is a, at least one person in this crowd that wants to kill me. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Like if you could get fucking dying bagged in a heartbeat, like. Um, uh, yeah, so this woman came up, crept up behind him or whatever, went to give him a hug or grab him or something like that, and he just spun around, burst her with an elbow in the gob. Uh, yeah, he got arrested. Again, el- elbow doesn't even seem like something that you'd definitely go out of your way to do. No, look, I don't know. I haven't seen it, so I yeah. don't know. But yeah, it just exactly. seems that it's not as simple as like dancing on stage with someone. And, or even if they, he saw them jumping up. If you see someone jumping up from the front of the stage, you don't have any right to hit them. No, someone, no. The someone security from behind, Like We've seen people getting tackled from behind a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That happens a lot. Big time. It usually clip. happens to people we don't like, and it's hilarious. But yeah, it's actually, exactly. Yeah, like um, I'm going to play. Oh bottles. yeah, Remember in Chile. That that's time? right. Yeah, a lot of people have been fucking got, got a what's a main art and tail. And I remember he had the like jujitsu choker deal with well painted blue. Oh, because um, he was your man was trying to get on top of him and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's a lot of yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd have to look into it more again. I don't have to give my opinion on that either. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna play a bit. Just I mean, everybody knows this song, but it doesn't matter. It's still shit. Let's. Until I got high. I was gonna get up and find the broom, but then I got high. Oh, it's because drugs, brilliant. I'm <laughs> still messed up, and I know why. Why, man? Yeah, because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. La da 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 da. I was gonna.
to go to class before I got high. Come no, I can't. I was going to play a little bit more. I'm not going to play a I never, I never thought it was funny or anything. I, mean, <sighs> I get it. Uh, uh, drugs. Because I was going to do, I was going to do a thing, but I didn't because I got started instead. I know that'll make you feel good about that. Uh, that's so deadly. Fuck oh, bad. That's gas. That's gas. It's so bad. Uh, I did. I did a drug, and I did a drug. <laughs> oh, fucking hell! And it's the drug's fault. Anyway, uh, that was Afro Mambo because I got hoy. Who is your next one in uh, Abominations Two? Um, they these guys appear a lot in our podcast. Good reasons and very bad reasons because they are that kind of polarizing band because they decided to start well and go bad in one of music's biggest nosedives I've ever... Is that you? That's their their career. No oh, yeah, driving. it is. I thought you were fired. I was like, fuck, I hope people don't know. this. No, man. No. Um, this is Coldplay, and the song is Him for the Weekend. One of the, real another, bad. Another flag post song that's stuck in the, in the ground now that you can go, right, what point of their career were they, where were they at? There. Yeah. Remember, Coldplay's first album, arguably two albums, are good. Yeah. Albums. Yep. Um, but then they became really middle of the road indie. Then they became really tame indie rock. But then after that, that wasn't enough. Yeah. They, they, he, they modeled themselves on U2 hard. Hard, But they, yeah. went, they went far past into a territory that U2 would never have done. No. U2, no. like, U2... This this song here sounds makes U 2s Vertigo and Beautiful Day sound like fucking Slayer. Yeah, it really does. Like it, it gives it gives that much credence to U two. I listened with to this though, with today, those. and it, I, I, I never heard the song before because I I only like you said that those first two albums I, I like I don't oh, know yeah. them intimately but I know them and uh, this is well. Well, I never stick heard any, there. anything like this. Stick, I, it yeah, on, stick, stick on this dance tent in in a uh, in festival. Joy, stick that on. Go on. He's feeling drunk and high. Maybe that, him. The lyrics. Those are his lyrics. of feeling drunk and high. I need yeah. to go back and read other. Uh, There's no way that, sure cunt, that, but... that cunt has ever had a drink in his life. He's in the fucking. So. He's in the Rivers Cuomo, fucking no. uh, Josh Holm club. The fucking East Lord club. At least Bono fucking knocks at least a bottle of vodka back a day. At at easy, just the fucking. And he doesn't sing himself. about. And he doesn't. Even, yeah, he doesn't even sing about that. I mean, it's a beautiful day. Crack the bum, bum, bum. I beat the crack boom. the top off some hazard. It's a beautiful. Oh, he's fucking bad. Bono can do whatever the fuck he wants, man. Skull like a Bono. pint yeah. of grand. Bam, yeah. bam. Yeah. Uh, that co- that sounds like... Who's gonna crack open this bottle? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking, that Coldplay song sounds like something that Beyonce recorded and decided it wasn't good enough to be on whatever well, album. That's funny you should say that because the, pe- the person singing in the background is... Is Rihanna, who isn't accredited, which is weird. Like I don't think she likes it. I don't God. think she likes it at all. She li- watching the these fucking white bastards from fucking England, like full on ape, like that kind of pop hip hop kind of dancey style that yeah. like she's kind of spearheading and making money off. And like one of the biggest indie bands in the world that play like hundred thousand seat or fucking stadiums. Like they, they show up and they're like, listen, I've been listening to your albums and Beyonce is not. And I like that. You know them horns, them Miami. Yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah. You like all that shit. So we're going to like see the lads in the band. Fuck them. I have this no, keyboard. Nonsense. Nonsense. I people. have this keyboard. Yeah. Just why doesn't that fucking, what's that? Chris Martin. Why doesn't he yeah. do all this in a solo career? Because the rest yeah, of the bands on call play. Why, why is he pissing me into it? Yeah. And here's the, thing, into it. here's the thing as well, right? Um, the song's not even really written by Coldplay. They have now. They now do like have a team of people that help them. Avicii, 
Ugh, helped them yeah. write this song. So he would have provided a, a lot of the, uh, what you call it, fucking, like the background dance yeah. music that's in it, which is really fucking shite, to be honest yeah. with you. And Avicii, Avicii, there's a lad who could drink. Whoops. Yeah, big into it. Too yeah, much into and, it. Him and Bono. Bono him won. and Bono, what have Yeah, he probably went, fuck it. Call player probably into the gargle, gets there. Uh, we're having bottles of uh, Fiji water. Avicii, that's where he goes, yeah, I'm going to have a bottle yeah. of vodka. That's all right. Well, yeah, no, we shouldn't be fucking talking about that because he did die of fucking uh, he did, alcohol. Uh, I got him. Poor drank, his, drank a hole in the stomach, I think. Uh, yeah. Which is really fucking sad because he's too, way too young for that. Way yeah. too young. But this is written by Coldplay and a lot of producers. And, That's uh, mad. That's mad. It's an I attempt. never thought they would have done that. No, nah, listen to it. It's an attempt to fucking glide into... To just take the foot off the pedal. Let someone else write a bit of it. Glide into teenage teenagers' playlists on Spotify. End up on Coachella stage. Uh, the video has this fake Indian cultural appropriation bullshit going on there that everyone hated. Uh, the, the, lyri- the lyrics, yeah. ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, got me feeling drunk and high, so high, oh, uh, feeling drunk and high, so high. Garbage. Um, here's what I want to know. I've said this a thousand times on this podcast, right? I'm going to say it again in case mm. people haven't listened to old podcasts. I want to know what the rest of the band in Coldplay do while they're playing these songs. Well, the drummer, I presume, be, be adding like, t- like he's going to the, the image of a drummer being there. Yeah, I suppose like, he probably tri- he could trigger a lot of actual. <coughs> yeah, but he's stuff. probably not. Let's be honest. There's some well, he's, on, he's, he's on a click track, hundred percent. Yeah, but there's some lad with a laptop that just hits go, and ninety nine percent of the back and stuff is there, and the band have to just like there's no guitar in that. You know what I mean? And if there is, they yeah. hit me in fucking in logic. You know what I mean? Well, so there like, probably is somewhere in it, but I couldn't hear. No, you couldn't pick it out. So the guitarist has to rock around, painted in like neon day glow colors, while the fucking black light strobe all over the stadium, pretending he's into this. Like, when, yeah, when the, and he looks he's like he rock really band. Not. He looks like he's really not. Yeah, exactly. He loves the money, I'd say. Don't get me I'm wrong. I'm sure he's mad like, into it. And the fucking the, like, he's got this weird synth bass thing going on, and the bassist has to walk around pretending he's playing it. And yeah. Then fucking the drummer just gets to go boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. Well, it was like. Yeah, happen exactly. In the background that like, Avicii stuck in stereo you know. phasing on the hi hats and all. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's just fucking yeah. oh, lumping along. How, here, does, like how does he get that stereo phasing on the hi hats? Uh, shut up! It's on track. Shut up! Yeah, exactly. Um, That's all he says. Speaking of, Be- speaking of Beyonce, yeah, she once turned down a song that Chris Mar- Chris Martin apparently was onto her every fucking like week, really? sending her songs. He finally, sent him one. Then he goes, "I think this is the one," and he said it himself. She said in the nicest way. <laughs> This is awful. Yeah, I bet you it was. She like, said it though. She had to say, look, I'm Beyonce. I can't be putting out garbage. This yeah, is well, shy. And my fella is Jay-Z. You know what I mean? Yeah, can, another can, person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I don't need this. Yeah. At all. Another person that turned down a collaboration was David Bowie. Oh, yeah. He, he, he wasn't mad in collaborating in general. No, but no, but we would with placebo or nine inch nails, yeah, something yeah. relevant. Yes, and uh, Coldplay might be big, but that doesn't mean they're relevant. No, they, they wouldn't I don't so understand. Even. Like relevant in the sense that David Bowie likes, as in musically yeah. pushing things forward. They just jumped on every bandwagon as soon as the first two. Like they had their own brand of Cold melancholy, knows. fucking yeah. <laughs> Coldplay for when it's just not right. Like. <laughs> Look, Chris, Chris Martin said, he again relayed the story going, I sent some stuff to David Bowie. He called me and said, it's not one of your best. So uh, I'm out. I'm not going to uh, do it. Well. Then Martin, Chris Martin said, I don't know why my band is the punchline of so many jokes. Because if like last few years, it's really confusing me why people slag our band. I don't get it. Like It's not a band anymore, mate. You serious? It's not bad. You might as well be fucking DJ. Yeah, it might as well be. They did a song with Chain Smokers. That's one of their biggest songs. As well, they're just a dance. They're, they yeah. get them up now. It gives the dance bands some sort of credibility with indie yeah, fans that go to festivals. Course. Are not real music fans anyway. A lot of people that go to festivals. Is what I'm saying. People yeah. that think that going to a festival makes you a music fan. If you go to a festival thinking that makes you a music fan, you're not a music fan. No, the opposite. But I'm not gatekeeping here. I don't no. care about it. I'm just saying, words are wise. It's not about. Going and showing off what oh, I saw, I saw them. Um, uh, yeah. No, no, shy. Uh, most festivals are shy, so oh, yeah, 99%. depending on what festival you went to. Yeah. yeah, if you let's go, I'll go to now. There's a lot of great stuff at Electric Picnic, don't get me wrong, but 
I wouldn't be boasting about You still have to go mu- to Electric musical Picnic. Pro- yeah, your musical prowess to go to It's that, like yeah. this year. I mean, I know we're not going to get Electric Picnic this year, but like Rage Against the yeah. Machine were one of the headliners. Do you know <sighs> what I mean? Like talking about missing the mark. Like Absolutely, absolutely. Like it's, that's, I mean, there's people who definitely want to see Rage Against the Machine. But like, are you trying to tell me that like every single Rage Against the Machine fan is going to pay whatever it is, 120 quid for a day ticket to go to literally, fucking... Literally 90% of the people on my Facebook list are people I talk to went, I'm not going to that. No, no. I, like, I don't care about the money. I'm not going to Electric Picnic. It's a yeah, nightmare. Exactly. Like, yeah. it's, it's miles away. There's no one else on it I like. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to go for one band outdoors like uh, in Ireland. No. Yeah. Absolutely. There's already a, there, was, there was already a fucking ill-fated, well, like everything is ill-fated this year. Uh, uh, Sunstroke, which would have been incredible yep. to have them at that with yeah. Fate No More and Death Tales. Perfect. Way more relevant, way more. But no, this, this is the kind of thing that pisses me off. Mm. This pandering and bending to things. It's what Coldplay do. Coldplay would have played Witness at the start of their career, uh, Glastonbury and all that. But now it's all like Coachella's and Electric Picnics. And, well, not that they're too big for Electric Picnic, but... Mm. You know what I mean? That kind of fucking... Oh, look. I don't know what to say about it without gatekeeping and coming across pretentious, but that's what's going to happen when we talk about this kind of shit. Garbage. Coldplay, I wanted to just show people the nosedive, and that's that's about fucking five years ago. That, um, is that that long ago, is it? I think so, yeah. That's a, that's called something in my head, or I don't know. I head don't care. full of something. Head full of fucking... Head full of, head full of, head full of notions and jip. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Roy, who's your next one? My next one is. It was nice and bumping. Oh, God. They were having a ball, Helmet. Start the name calling. And the girls respond to the call. Fuck off and die. It's really um, bad. It's really it's bad. Fucking yeah. shocking. I mean, it's not. It's shocking. no. It's, the only thing that's not shocking is that you picked it because I let a slip at the very start. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I thought it was on the last one. I really thought it was on the last podcast. No, I had to. <sighs> Do you know what? I'm going to tell you some mad shit, right? About this group, the Baha Men, right? Right. This is this this. It's actually interesting, right? This band performed in 1977. No, I would not have expected. I wouldn't have even expected the eighties. I'd be, sh- right. I'd be kind of like no, early nineties, really? Wow, early nineties, eighties, yeah. now seventies, absolutely not. Mm. So it seems to be like a handed down type of fucking like Jedi fucking Padawan situation, you know? Oh. Like there's there's been nineteen members of this group. 19. The Baja Awakens, yeah. Um, the Baja Awakens, Return of the Baja. Um, <laughs> the Baja strikes back. You could do it all day. Um, oh man, if you left the band, you could go solo. Uh, a Baja story. Uh, um, like he's got, he's gone rogue one. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry. <coughs> um, yeah, who let the dogs out with the Baja man? They, they formed in 1977. They've had 19 members. Apparently, in the late 90s, they were fucking huge in Japan. Right, they do this. Uh, what do you call it? There's a particular name for the type of music they do, like but sure. fucking Barbados music or Bohemian music. Or what the fuck? Oh yeah, like it has all that little steel drum, which I don't yeah. mind. I don't mind that when that's played. You know what? That's nice. At like a slow pace. That yes. really chill though. Uh, it, cl- yeah, it can work. Calypso. Tropical. Calypso tropical. I don't, know. A, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, but I know what you mean. Sometimes it was played nice. Didn't get this kind of weird saucery kind of. Whoa. Type of feel it is barbecue buffet music. Let's be honest. Yes, but this is yeah, that, that's very that's very mean. I don't mean I'm talking about this one. I'm mm. not talking about their version of it. I'm not talking about the actual like historically cultural version of it. Is not barbecue. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about this is an absolute just. Where would you? Where is it? parties? It's for parties. It's awful. This is for uh, like two things. It's for children's parties and yeah. for fucking elves who get drunk. And uh, elements who are drunk at some at a wake or something or a funeral, and they're smashed up by nine o'clock. They go <laughs> off to the DJ and they ask for this, and they start. Oh, fucking, they do. Yeah, they start boogieing on their own. own well, everybody else is crying, but they're fucking locked. They're they're <laughs> onto their fucking their their seventeenth G and T, and their husband is fucking outside puking, and it's just someone has to call a taxi. They won't get in the taxi, and they're fighting with their ma. The house bang. This who is let the like, dogs? Out? Yeah. 
this is absolute Karen music is what this is. It's <laughs> fucking <sighs> fire. Um, this isn't even their song. This song was written by a guy called Anson Douglas who had his own version of it. And someone, oh, there's a weird story about how they heard it. The Baja men were fucking, they were, oh, fuck, I didn't even write it down because again, I don't give a shit. Someone yeah. heard it in some other band. It was covered. Anson wrote it, produced it, played it, and it done all right. It was slower and it was very different. But like the, it wasn't even called Who Let Dogs, it was called the Doggies or something like that. And right. was someone in another band, a big band. Who, let the, who let the dogs fight, but they couldn't call it that then. Exactly. <laughs> who let the dogs fight? Uh, it's, a, it's actually... DMX, the, DMX did. <laughs> yeah. the, the whole song is about uh, men being pigs and annoying women. Uh, that's basically what the song is about. Yeah, uh, right. and, uh, but some, someone else had done a cover. It's been covered two or three times before the Baja men got a hold of it and they did not want to record it because it was very different from the rest of their stuff but uh, their, one of their producers was like you have to do this lads this will be this will be great for you so they were like oh for fuck alright they went in they just done it not caring and uh, it just blew up and uh, they never done like obviously they never had another hit after this like it was fucking over I think they yeah. tried but it was back to their original style of music and no one gave a fuck about it uh, so you can imagine now at like a, a fair do you remember from the early 2000s we have the Baja men and they have that song who let the dogs out and yeah. they come out and go who who and after that it's just all like here's a different song where everyone goes eh, no you're okay yeah exactly this is a new song just turn the, P, turn the PA off turn the PA off quick I want to listen to this song as much as I want to watch the movie Wild Hogs with John <laughs> yeah it's probably in there I it's think it sounds like it's probably in there doesn't yeah, it yeah I bet you it's in there I bet you it's fucking on there the wild hog soundtrack featuring the Baha yeah. men who let the dogs in oh. and the motorbike oh, oh f- wild hogs remember that movie yeah I'd rather talk about that film than this song uh, I, yeah, well, actually, yeah. I don't want to talk about the Baha men anymore who is your next one <laughs> my next one is a song that ever since the mid 90s when it was re-released has fucking hurt like it hurt me as a kid and I thought I might have mellowed again like I have with certain things like Jamiroquai and Some Queen mm. but no this song is still awful it is Young at Heart by the Bluebells before I get into it just so people know why I'm this angry play a bit of that um, oh, Jesus Young at Heart Young drum sounds like someone throwing something as a wall. Yeah. Oh. That's fucking garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. It's a cover. Oh, is it? It's a cover of their own song. <laughs> okay. How does that work, one might ask. But yeah. first of all, it's a re-release. Okay. But it's a re-release of Banana Rana's Rama song, Young at Heart, oh. which was written by the Bluebells for them because, because the Bluebells members, <coughs> it was written by two of the guys, Robert Hodgins and Bobby Valentino, which is an unreal name. Mm, that's Not right Robert name. Hodgins, but Bobby Valentino. Yeah, that's stopped. a proper, proper good name. Uh, they wrote the song um, with the members of Banana Rama. <laughs> Sarah Dallin, Siobhan Fahey, and Karen Woodward, because Bobby Valentino and Siobhan Fahey were a couple at the time. So, um, what the would the lads look from, like? Jesus, I don't know. Bobby Valentino. I don't even know if he's a good looking fella or not. But Siobhan's know, all, obviously all of, Irish. Yeah. Like, so he's obviously got. Where were they from? England. Bluebells were England? English? No, sorry, no. Bluebells are Scottish. Scottish. They're from Glasgow. He has yeah, to have made Glasgow. up that name, that Bobby Valentino name. That no, no, name. no, absolutely not. Uh, I don't think so. Be- well, he might have, but uh, Scotland has a huge, huge Italian um, oh. uh, sort of uh, cultural... There's loads of people moved there from... I can't... If you've got, like, Charlene Spiteri, for example, mm. there's loads, uh, loads... The guy from Ocean Colour scene. Mm. There's millions and millions and millions of people. Not millions, maybe. Yeah, maybe millions. Uh, people in Scotland with, with Italian heritage. It's just very... I can't, I, I can't remember why. I remember he knew it at one stage and I couldn't figure out why. Like, uh, Louis Capaldi and Peter Capaldi. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. It's just huge over there. Yeah. So I would reckon that his name being Roberto Valentino is just like John Smith. 
Maybe. Except way fucking cooler. Way that's a so, proper cool although, man. Although it's fucking cool, you don't you wouldn't get props in Scotland for a name like Bobby Valentino. That's pretty sta- standard enough. Yeah, oh, uh, I might change my name to Bobby Valentino. It's fucking great now. I might. What about Gig, Gar Valentino? It doesn't work. It has to be Bobby, doesn't it? Mm, no, Bobby. Yeah, a Rob. So, Rob Valentino. Yeah. And yeah. um, the lyrics are young at heart, yet what a start! Old before their time, they married young for love at last was their only crime. You can't, you can't. Uh, first of all, it's grammatically completely incorrect. <laughs> they married young for love at last. That's the end of the sentence. Was their only crime. They married young was their only crime is a sentence. You can't say they married young for love at last was their only crime. You're, you're going to restart a new sentence and say that was their only crime. Anyway, that's the least that worry I have with the song. The fucking <laughs> fiddle, that fiddle intro. Yeah. Do you know what it feels like, right? The side of the, the, the bow has a blade on it. It's going <laughs> to sinew under my eye. A sonic blade. And the yeah. blood is just... And the, yeah, it's, and not it's, re- f- it's not, not f- recorded years. well. Yeah, not recorded well. That kick drum it's sounds just, garbage. I don't even know if it's recorded well or not. That fucking... That, din, 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 is cancerous. Yeah, it hurts, it hurts. Yeah, like, that kick drum sounds like somebody kicking a ball against the side that of the is, head. Yeah, that's fucking St. Anger job. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's real, man. So yeah, that was that was written, I think, in mid-80s. Bananarama released a version which had much... It didn't have that. Din, 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 it had a keyboard riff that was sort of okay passable harmless enough like but when they I remember the first time hearing this Blue Bell song and I was like and your man's I can take or leave the way the rest of it yeah, yeah, it's yeah, blah, blah, blah. 50s kind of thing and the name Blue Bells even yeah. bangs yeah. at the 50s doesn't it they the have Blue that. Bells yeah the fucking um, the, the shocking cats oh, hey the fuck off why ain't you yeah cunts the, yeah it came back out in 93 when I heard it that was for a uh, Volkswagen ad uh. yeah, hate, hate it Hate it, hate them. Don't even know the other stuff. Don't want to know. Never buying um, a Volkswagen. But it, I would have had the money to buy a Volkswagen. To be fair, they're very good cars. They are good cars. But in in two thousand and two, Bobby Valentino sued Hodgins for unpaid royalties on the grounds that he and not Hodgins had composed a distinctive violin solo in the tune. So <sighs> you can fuck off, Valentino, because it was you that did that. Uh, <laughs> Valentino played the piece in court, and the judge went. Take that money, son. Really? That he won, yeah, because he played it in court. Oh. He probably went, oh, those guys. He probably just went, okay, let me show you exhibit one, yeah. Your Honor. A yes. violin. A violin. Yeah. And he passed it to Hodgins. Now play that intro. I can't. Now watch me play it. Now that would have been like razor blades into the ice. Yeah, exactly. It's not like so, I had any time to prepare to learn or anything, you know? Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah. Scum. It's I hate that song with a passion. Yeah. I don't fucking hate it. It should and still it, be in court, that song. That song should be, yeah, this is for war crimes. I fucking hate it. Locked up. Be locked. <laughs> for war crimes. <laughs> exactly. And, and like just grievously, grievous bodily harm. I just hate it. Anyway, oh, what's, your, what's, your, what's your next one? Uh, my next one is it's just fucking garbage. It's just, I have to fix my chair and all that before you start talking about it. Oh, God. Um, it's Eiffel 65 with Blue Da Ba Di Da Ba Da. This is my second song I like. Really? I like this song. I can't. I cannot do now it. Now listen up, here's the story. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, they're Italian. Imagine that version of it. Imagine that version of it. Listen up, listen up here's the story. story. I'm a good girl loves on the blue world. <laughs> <laughs> Moved with his auntie and uncle and Bel Air. Blue Air, yeah. Blue Air. Uh, <laughs> blue Air. The Fresh Prince of Blue Air. Um, uh, no, it, it, oh, I can't, I'm going to play it. Hang on. I have to play it. I love this. I think, I think it's great. Really? Oh, yeah. Yo, listen up. Here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and Do you remember all the little man they had? Yes, they're all blue. blue like him. Inside and outside, blew his house with the blue little window. Say blue, blue again, you can. Even his jib was blue. <laughs> blue yeah. And himself and everybody around, cause he ain't. You have to admit, this bit is great. To listen, to listen, to listen. This bit coming up now. I'm blue. This. Banging. No. I hate that phone call, actually. Yeah, how bad do you have to be to not get those notes? 
It's just, no, it's, that, that's the effect, isn't it? That's the effect, I suppose. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. not auto tune on a switch. I, like, I, like, I hate I like it this. so much. <clears throat> the fact that you couldn't escape it when it came out, the fact yeah. that they made three albums, like, there's something, there's something that bothers me about loads of bands that, like, put out, like, an abortion, right? And it's dark. And then, they, they follow it up, you know what I mean? Why don't they know? I think I'd well, know. Well, like, here's the thing, right? You've, you, well, come on, they've they've come off massive tours, probably played a beat a lot of times. Uh, then went, right, what do we do after this? Well, you know, artistically, we should wrap it up in case two lads in Ireland do a podcast and call us. In the- <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, apparently, I know, yeah. apparently, Eiffel 65 is a, is a side project. Um, it's kind of a split off from a thing called the um, the Bliss Corporation. Right. And um, Bliss Corporation, there was a whole big fucking melee with like the name of Eiffel 65 and fucking um, who uh, came up with the riff and because uh, the Bliss Corporation had a recording studio where one of the guys that was in Bliss Corporation uh, brought some mate of his in and like wrote this song but the rights of it were owned by Bliss Corporation Right, they were happy enough to do that for a while but then years later Eiffel 65 wanted to get back together again on tour and Bliss Corporation were like we have to throw us a few bob like yeah, she used all of our gear to write this and record it you know and they were like no they were, they were probably like lads we're fucking not minted like let us have this now like no throw 5% or whatever you know what I mean and they said no yeah. apparently Eiffel 65 uh, has a bit of a, a, a therapy story to it where it's not meant to say 65 the way therapy was meant to have a question mark Um right it's just when they wrote it down on the master tape and sent it in or something like that, someone else had wrote 65 because it was the 65th one in line or something like that. So they just ended oh, right. up being Eiffel 65. They were meant to be just called Eiffel. Uh, no, Eiffel 65 is way better. Yeah, for no apparent reason. It's just better. Um, just It's a bit more in the mouth for it, I suppose. Yeah. It's, <laughs> I have a thing about it's these so, gimmicky... It's like, yeah, it's, it's just a it's, it is shit, like, but I like it. No, I can't. <laughs> I've lo- I have loads of shy songs that are like, this is just not one of them. It's not one of them. It's just, <laughs> it's you, you know when songs just rely on like, the song is called fucking Blue. And er- like every second word he says is Blue. And by the end of it, I'm just blew out, man. I'm fucking, blue, it's, nearly, it's, nearly, it's nearly five minutes long and it's just blue, 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 blue. As soon as I heard that, I got blue balls waiting for the chorus. So no, it just can't. Sounds can't like it. it sounds like robots that le- are learning colors. Yeah. Blue, 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 blue. <laughs> what? Not blue. yellow, blue, 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 blue. blue. Um, oh. No, I can't. I can't. I can't do it at all. And we have to move on because it's, it's painful. <laughs> uh, I wrote the lads' names down. And I can't, I'm not even saying them. Uh, who's your next one? My next one is uh, a song that loads of people love. Mm. Love it. It was. In 2011, concluded to be the catchiest song in the history of music. Oh, well. And it is We Are the Champions by Queen. I, f- I really fucking hate this song. I don't know how you hate this song. Like, I'll tell you why, right? Because, right, we are the champions, man, and we'll keep on fighting to it. Mm, crap, fine, but the. We are the champions. We are the champions. That bit is really dreadful. No, I love that's it. That's a dread. That's dreadful. Love it. And you know what? It's just fucking. As a kid, I was like, "We are the champions." Okay, that was obviously Freddie's. This was Freddie's way a response to "We Will Rock You," like an anthem song. Need yeah. those big anthem songs. Yeah. At least "We Will Rock You" was okay. Mm. It's okay. It's not great. It's fine. It's it yeah it's cool it's, cool, it's no it's good actually. In comparison, I the um the original version of We Will Rock You that doesn't have the boom boom ba boom boom nope. thing in it. There's a like a BBC early recording version of it that has like all this weird kind of blues guitar. In it. It's fucking deadly. It's very deadly. very cool. You know I don't think it was even ever released. You have yeah. to go to YouTube and find it. But it's mad different. Um, like the chorus and all it's the same, but it's it's almost like you know the the solo in. Uh, we will rock you. Yeah. It's almost like that throughout the whole thing. It's fucking cool. Uh, like but we're talking about probably we won't champions. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably won't. Like. Uh, <laughs> probably won't. I, I no, do not tells you listen to something. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I knew you wouldn't. It's not like that's what I'm saying. Most people love this song. I so, don't love it. 
There's no, no point, no, no. No point putting me on a controversy. No, no, what I'm it's saying not, is most people. Yeah. yeah. It's not my favourite Queen song. Like, yeah. it's definitely overplayed and it's fucking, it's hackneyed as fuck. You know what I mean? It's played out the fuck. I'm sick of hearing it. Like, I never really want fact, to hear it again. The I'm fact there's only it. two lines in the song that I think are acceptable. We what are the man. champions, my friends, and we'll keep on fighting then it's fine. Like I said, before that, shy. And after it, that was two lines after where they just go, we are the champions. We. Now, I wrote down that this was a laboured, lazy, painful song, because it is. And I wrote, it sounds like it was written specifically to make money off like sporting events. Yo, so yeah. I went, hang on a minute, let me read into this. Freddie Mercury said, I was thinking about football when I wrote this song. Of course. Really? Okay. I wanted, a part- I wanted a participation song, something that the fans could latch on to. Of course you were. Yeah, this, is, this is clever. It's to make money forever. It you will have make a history of doing this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It'll, um, it'll, never, it'll never wear out. Like it. This, this would be their championship song forever. Nobody can, If someone came out, if Liverpool won the fucking cup that you lads like, and they, someone wrote a song called Liverpool are Champions, they, they beat the... Don't get me wrong. That's Liverpool not going to... They're not going to play it. They're going to play like, with the champions by Queen. Much, much like Queen, yeah, of course they will. Much like Queen, Liverpool fans have an, a knack of writing really good uh, crowd songs and really awful. Like, do you know what? Like, the, the the main song for Liverpool is obviously "You'll Never Walk Alone," which is a banger. It's not their song though. That's nothing to do with them, is it? No, yeah, well, no, not really. Um, it's from like Oklahoma or Painter Wagon, one of those fucking yeah. <laughs> one yeah, of those yeah. things. Um, but they have another chant that just goes, Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. That's for all the special heads, man. But That's so is this song. We, <laughs> we are the champions. We are, if, you leave the, if you leave a gap in there when you're singing that, listen to how crap that sounds. We are the champions. We... <laughs> 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 I, always, I always sing it like that when I'm slagging it and it sounds perfect <laughs> just leave that cat there it sounds like even more garbage it's like when it's like when I want to annoy someone and uh, do this by the way if you're listening do this to someone in your office if you really don't like them just fucking works every time right if you've got someone in your office and you want to passively aggressive annoy them sing Postman Pa but instead of black and white cat just repeat Postman Pa so just Postman go Pat. Postman Pa Postman Pa Postman Pat, Postman Pat, then take a drink, then take a drink and act like nothing and do a few things. So, so someone, so someone just goes, it's and it's black and white cat. what? The song, the song, the, the next, the next line. And it's black say, and white. Yeah, I know, yeah. Go, go, I know. And then yeah. sing, a few minutes later, postman sing. Pa, sing it, pa, sing it postman, postman Pa, Postman Pa, Postman Pa, Postman Pa. But you could do, do it. You could do like, Postman Pa, Postman Pa, Postman Pa, and it's Postman Pa. <laughs> the postman pa uh, or even better pa, pa, even better pa, pa, even better pa. just go postman pa postman pa postman pa just leave it <laughs> just leave it there just leave it there just oh, it does even better don't say postman pa just leave it there no because no because then you get some, then you get that joker in the in the office leaning back and sure that is black and white cap brilliant son brilliant <laughs> Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat, E F G. <laughs> That's what this song is. That's what Up this song is. in the sky so bright. Um, where his postman having a shite. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump used. Remember Donald Trump used this in his campaign rallies when he was running for the uh, course nominations. Of course he did. Uh, Brian May obviously posted a message saying. Um, I can confirm that permission to this track was neither. Sought for, nor given. Mm. We're taking advice here to get rid of it. He also said that no matter what we think of Donald Trump, which is a clever way to start thing, uh, we don't allow Queen's music to be used for anything political at all. So um, you, you let fuck, you let any fucking prick do bleeding. Yeah, and sing with your band, and you. What who was it? What was your man's name? Fucking tacky, or taffy, or your man he done da- the daffy. Daffy, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Daffy's the fucking voice of the new generation. Let me jump on a fucking song I think you with Daffy. M- I think you might have mentioned this, that they re-released We Are The Champions this year. Did they? But they changed the name to You Are The Champions. Fuck off. And they we'll sing it. make it about the people. They make it about uh, healthcare workers and frontline workers. Oh, fuck off, eh? Like, listen, I love... Like, I'm sorry, but like, but I love frontline workers, but they hate, all, they hate all that shit. 
Yeah, of course. Right now. How many frontline made... workers have you, have you, do you know that are saying, lads, give up this fucking shit, it's embarrassing. I have, because uh, I've worked in a hospital for years, so I yeah. still know loads of people who work in hospitals. And when, when all this shit kicked off, about three weeks into it, I remember messaging uh, one, of the, one of the gang I know in there, and I was like, yeah, he was getting on. He was like, yeah, oh, it's fucking real. You know, it's, it's, it's mad. Like, he said, like, it's not as bad as they're making out, but it's like it's busy and it's hectic, you know. No, well, it probably wasn't. Uh, was probably not as bad as like fucking Lombardi, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah, like he did. Like he, he, yeah, he was saying like, no, it's, like it's bad, but it's not like there's not like people fucking dead in the fucking car park. You know what I mean? He said, like, they, were, yeah, yeah. they were busy and they were under pressure, but it's not like the fucking the, the be all end all of fucking like the place is about to disintegrate. But he, he what he said was, it's like he, he said, Gar, the amount of food that's arriving because cunts think like we're all poor. It's like we have a oh, canteen. I, oh yeah, I gave money towards one of those uh, feed the heroes. Yeah. They made, they only started out looking for like a couple of grand, and they made like fucking few million. Yeah. He said, "There's pizzas from like local pizzerias, from like the local kind of Chinese restaurants, from fucking sandwich yeah. shops, and then there's like the actual like the GoFundMe's and stuff like that, where they're like putting together like kitchens yeah. to feed them." And he's, he was like, "It's insane! It's the amount of food that's being wasted because it cannot that's, be eaten. It cannot yeah. be eaten. So we've canteens here." We've always had canteens. We're a full staff. You know yeah. what I mean? Like the canteen is designed to be able to feed every single person who eats in this hospital, even at maximum occupancy. <laughs> we we yeah. do not need food. Like we're not in a desert. You know, we're in the city center. Um, yeah. I'm hey, sure they appreciate it a lot of stuff <laughs> the same thing, but I get you. It, like, yeah. The hospitals in general don't like waste. So yeah, Of course. Well, they, pay, they have to pay the waste um, to be yeah. taken away as well. You know what I mean? So, uh, but anyway, yeah, that's how we're the champions for Queen. <laughs> <laughs> you are the champions. I have oh. to hear that. It's the Adam Lambert version of it. Uh, oh. The idea came about when the tree virtually jammed it out on Instagram. And on the fly, Adam Lambert changed it mid-song to, hang on, you are the champions. <gasps> Fuck off. Did you know that you are the champions was a massive hit in Japan, topping really? the country's national radio airplane <laughs> for weeks. That's fucking... <laughs> you don't well, want to play this either, do you? There's no point. Everybody knows. Well, there's any point playing this? I wrote them. That, is there any point? I mean, hang on. Let me throw it in the middle here with a crack. Yeah, bang it in oh. the middle. I mean, just in case someone just fucking arrives off spaceship in Mars yeah. today. My curtain call. My curtain call. You brought me pain Ooh, and fortune and everything that goes with it. I thank, thank you all. all. How do you not like sure. this? It's not good. Roses. Come on, Helmet. No pleasure cruise. Come on. No. Get into it. Boom. 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 One fist in the air. Woo! Come on. I hate that. I hate that. Because we are Helmet. You're not feeling it in your blood, man. We are the champions, lad. Here's the best bit. Here's the best bit. Here's the postman pop This is your bit. Awful chords. They're awful chords. You are the champions of the world. Yes, yes, are. Yes, are the champions. I tell you, man. I don't know what's wrong with you. That's a that's sure, a little, that's a hit, man. That's bound to be a hit. That's bound yeah. to be a hit. That's so who let the dogs out. <laughs> well, so's him. So's him for the weekend. So's we never, because, I, because I got yeah, high. All never, hits. These are all hits. <laughs> we never said they had to be good. Did we? <laughs> <laughs> Who's your next one? My last one uh, yeah. is uh, Crazy Town with Butterfly. That's not bad. It's just it's mad annoying. <laughs> you know what? I, I, do you know what? I don't mind. I don't think it's a good song. I don't want to listen to it. But if you stick the video on, I'll hate it. This, this, yeah, you know, I, I actually thought about this as well, right? I, me and we have be on the same thing here. Musically, this is just whatever. Garbage. It's, right? it's, it's, well, who is it? It's, 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 you're probably going to mention who it is. So yeah, right. Yeah. But it's when I think of this band, I think of that big fucking mallet-headed cunt. Right, yeah, with the that's what I'm saying. With his, with his fucking tribal tattoos and all uh, that. What's his name? He looks, his he looks, name. Do you, know, do you know what he looks like? Shifty. Do you know what he, you know what he looks like? Mm. Date rape. Mm. He does. He looks like date rape look, personified. Yeah. Date, yeah. date rape and uh, saying stuff like there's only two genders. Yeah, or the earth is flat. And having a red truck. 
Uh, <laughs> Crazy Town is, is an absolute clusterfuck of a group, right? Um, that there have been eighteen members in Crazy Town. The, oh, the, main, the main two God. was Shifty. And, a, yeah, sorry, no, oh, God, eighteen know, members. Eighteen members, yeah, eighteen members over the years. Uh, Shifty and I can't remember the other one's name. Uh, the other one left. He was. I've had enough of this because Shifty is just a disaster to be in. A but fucking disaster. Are you going to talk about the gig here? Which one? The Ozfest one? No. Where are they in, supposed to play? Oh, they were meant to play last year. In a, it's fucking Rathmoyans. Where is it? Yeah, that, in Rathmoyans. That, that place that looks like a boat. Whatever it's called. And they were, they were like two hours late or something. I, I, I know they, they cancelled the gig and then came back. And then were mad late. So your man they showed up hours late. And did they even get to play? Man? They did, yeah, but people were like already gone home because it was mid. I think it was Sunday or midweek. Yeah. So, get the bus. Mm, mm. so it sort of plays into what you were just saying there. The man's like a disaster. He's a disaster. Now, currently, Crazy Town are called Crazy Town X, right? And there's only it's like <coughs> him and someone else or something. I don't know who the fuck's left in the band. They've got the um, Microsoft room, just sticking an X on it. They threw an X on the bit. And when asked, like, why are you call Crazy Town X now? He says, look, you know, it's the gang warfare. When a gang takes over a, a neighborhood, it puts an X on the walls and graffiti to say it's been taken. That's the stupidest, <laughs> literally the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Shut up, you. The whitest man that ever lived. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Shut your actual hole. He has a little baby face, like a child's face. Do you remember it's how shot, him. Do you remember how, like, like, he, like his fucking, face looked like a, a yeah. baby, not a, not a baby face, like as a no, good looking. No, like his ma grew his him in a shoebox. Like yeah. yeah, his face looked like a baby's face. Yeah. His ma put him in a shoebox when he was a baby, and it was only so much, his head had to go sideways instead of up. So he just ends up with this big square head. Now he's fucking, he's mad for drugs, this cunt, right? Mad yeah. for drugs. And uh, he got mad into, um, he was on like celebrity rehab seasons one and two. <laughs> he, right? He was on another reality TV show called Sober House seasons one and two. Sir, this is amazing. Not, right? just, not, just, not just one season, mm. two different shows. Two. I'm like, by the second season of both of them, he's like climbing up onto roofs to smoke crack and all this type of shit. You know what I mean? Like he smuggled crack in up his hole or something like that. And there's like Dr. Phil or something screaming at him. Hey, Shifty, calm down. He's out oh, the fucking crack. I'll be back in a minute. Um, no, way he, no way he didn't get down. Why? Because he got high. Mm. He could have been a champion. See, that's the difference between Queen and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This guy, man, he looks like a crackhead. He does look... He is a crackhead. He is, like... Like, he's, um, he's buff as fuck in that video. But. He's ripped a bit, like... Yeah, he's, like... That, but that's that, like, crack ripped. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. You don't, when you don't eat it, and, and you, like, you're not a skinny person by nature, you've got, like, X amount of just general heft. And he's American as well. Like, I am cunt to being eating fucking hormone, bleeding steaks. I used to... I used lives. to... For, for about a year, I got to mix up with Sugar Ray. I don't know why. They're completely different bands. Yeah, yeah, man kind of looks a bit like him, the guy, Sugar Ray guy. Yeah. Didn't they start off as a metal band? I think they did. I think Sugar I'm Ray sorry. started off as like a, like a fucking doom metal band or something and ended up as Sugar Ray. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Um, I, read, I read that a while ago. Yeah, they were like a real heavy like a fucking death car or something, something mad. And all yeah. of a sudden, they were like, no, what, Sugar Ray. Um, <laughs> yeah, Celebrity Rehab says one and two. Sober House says one and two. Uh, crack, Gargle, Cocaine. Uh, he, I he thought was in, that was the name of a show. No, no. Uh, he was in a coma for a while. Um, he smoked so coma much t- crack. Coma town. Coma. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm a coma you town. take me to Darling? Coma town. Um, he, yeah, he smoked so much crack he went into a coma and came out of a coma and went out and smoked more crack. Um, oh, he literally went to crazy town. He literally That's... went to crazy town. And he said, look, he doesn't have a problem with crack. Uh, the one thing he has, a, has trouble with is cocaine. But like, Right, mate, that okay, mate. Like, no. How about no. Oliver? Uh, he's released yeah. a couple of solo albums. He actually done a song with um, it was Avicii. Coldplay, was it, wasn't it Avicii? It was Avicii. Done vocals on a big song with Avicii. Oh, um, really? I don't know what the fuck it's called, and I don't care. Um, mm. but yeah, the, <laughs> it's more about him. Uh, this is actually real funny. In it's not funny at all. What it is? I don't think anybody do it. No, it's okay. No, so it's still funny. In 2019, their tour bus crashed into a moose. And everybody was fucking wrecked. Uh, so that's it. That's it. I hope the mouse is okay. Like, yeah, God. Sh- was, you were telling me that story, and I was about to laugh. And then when you said mouse, I went, Whoa, hang on a second. <laughs> yeah, they crashed into a mouse and fucking wrecked themselves. Um, it's, it's an awful shame that that band weren't wiped off the map. Uh, they were booed off Ozfest, they had loud as the fucking bottles of piss and all around them. Of course, they were because they're the butterfly band. Uh, apparently, the, the rest of the stuff didn't sound like butterfly, it was more uh, kind of more hip hop. Orientated. That's because that's a 
Red Hot Chili Peppers. <coughs> yeah, but John Frusciante, I think, played on the album. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. I quickly um, can't open just to get through these last few because these songs are bad. I ran out of water. I have nothing to drink, and we have to drink my own piss direct from the source. It's annoying. It's, it's too much. I did that. I did that as a baby. Listen, you drink your own slash. Yeah, but I didn't do it on purpose. Like, you didn't oh, you just that lying down. Lying back, lying back, and it went directly into my mouth, and I was like, oh, I'll be... it's delicious. Fucking yeah. delicious. It's salty. Piss. I've had, I've had I'm pissing in my own mouth because I am pissing in the f- my own yeah. mouth. The fountain of youth, that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, listen, it's, I fucking hate this song. Uh, yeah. I, hate, I hate everything about it. It's just weak. I'm going to play a little bit of it here. Hang on. Uh, just for, for literally for people who got off the spaceship again. Come, Week, week. The guitar, fucking, the guitar lick is deadly. Yeah, because it's fucking John Frusciante. John Frusciante yeah. As much as I don't like what? fucking uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, like Frusciante's a fucking beast. Do you remember the other song? He, ma, starry eyed, surprised. Yeah. yeah. Yay! Fuck off. Like, fuck but do off. you know what? Yeah. Um, I, what I don't get is, didn't they have that song? No, that's different. Uh, he said in that song, Butterflies in Her Eyes. That's not a thing. Who knows? You got, butter, you got butterflies he in your eyes. He What's just said name? he thinks she's sexy because she has a tongue ring. Like, you know what I mean? It sounds like an Akon song. Sex. You're, a, you're, a sec, you're a sexy woman. You should Get come in to Akon, my Akon, blood diamond. Akon mine. Island. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's go to Akon City. Use my Bitcoin there in my diamond mine. Akon, Akon, oh, off, the, off the top of a cuff, off the top, off the cuff, just off the top of your head, write a song of a woman. Se- sexy. Oh, pff, uh, any other adjectives? adjectives? Bitch. <laughs> exactly. Diamond. Sexy diamond in her eyes. You know Your man fucking from Crazy Town looks like he's the kind of guy who the police find shaking in a corner and is like, what happened to that girl? She just wouldn't stop laughing. Yeah, that exactly. Means, okay. That's a fucking horror show. What's happened here? Horror <laughs> show, yeah. Who knows? I, I think he's been married <laughs> to Hay Batons and I've got, that's, I, that's, that's mean. It could be wrong, but I bet you I'm not if he's a crackhead. Bet you not. Yeah, bet you not. Anyway, that's crack, Crazy Town Butterfly. I hate it so <laughs> it's much. It's Crack Town. <laughs> Crack town. Yeah. Uh, who butterfly, was your last one? Bu- butterfly knife. Uh, <laughs> my last one is uh, when it was released on March the 3rd, 2000. That might be the day that music died. <laughs> American Pie cover by Madonna. Uh, this Something you know shouldn't be touched. You know what I mean? Like, you know what? It's cla- American Pie is a is a classic. It's great, song. It's, it's it's one of those incredible songs. I love songs that have loads of bits in them. You know me and my my yeah. seven minute long songs with uh, ramps up and it goes faster. There is sometimes I listen to American Pie. I don't like <laughs> it. Not the Emerald. The start of it, especially with the. <laughs> yeah, skip to I the, love skip that album. Skip that's to the shift. Do- that yeah, that's, album is that's the name of the album, isn't it? American yeah, Pie. American Pie is the album, yeah. And he's got like, I remember that lying around my house. Yeah, Vincent and all this some great yeah. songs on the Jesus. Oh, Vincent's good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Vincent's great. Yeah. That's a banger. Um, so, yeah, no, like, it's good and I, and I love it. And there's some days I have to admit, though, that I want them just to get to that fast bit. Yeah, just get to the bit. Yeah, get to the meatloaf bit, you cunt. Do the meatloaf bit. Yeah, do the meatloaf bit. Can you please start meatloaf's career? Come on. A real dead ringer for love, American pie. A real dead ringer for pie. Just do what you cunt. Exactly. Invent meatloaf. A real hankering for pie. Yeah, I'm fucking starving. Yeah. Look, before, look, just going to give people a refresher. So play a little bit of this stuff before we go into it. I put my leg in a weird position. This is my second thing, I think. <laughs> What's this? Fuck. Did you write the book of love and be God above? If the Bible tells you so. Oh, go for the back and vocal there. Oh. <laughs> Yes, Galdi, bitch. 
You're supposed to stab the guitar there. You're not yeah. no, 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 no. That line in the that, that line in the fucking uh, Don Don McLean version. Clean, eh? And uh, no, that no, you're no, in no. love with him because I saw you dancing yeah. in the gym. Is the fucking one of the best lines in any yeah. song. It's real fucking almost bitter, but he's trying not to be. That is that way. What we just heard there is night, nightmare, nightmare karaoke, nightmare on American <laughs> poetry. It's filled, <laughs> filled. It's. Uh, like this what did she do she added a little dance beat and she, she just kind of did an inoffensive yeah her vocal is so unstrained untested and yeah. it doesn't have to be because Don Henley wasn't but like it sounds like she's really like, stoned think, or something uh, that sounds like she just said to whatever producer listen I think let's do a version of American Pie and do it you know for the modern age for the kids and she just yeah. showed up two weeks later and your man had that ready <laughs> And she's like, when do we when do we start singing? Uh, thirty six seconds. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then off she goes. Thirty six seconds. changes. Yep. Do you read the book of love? And do you? I, I put too much effort into that. Yeah, that's why too much. Don't try to miss. Do you read the book of love? Oh, everybody's looking at me doing karaoke. Yeah. The video yeah. says it all, right? The video is just. A lot of people, a lot of same-sex people kissing. Then she's got a tiara on and she's dancing with American flags. It's like, can I get the gay dollar? Any chance of that? Pink exactly. Dollar? Yeah, I'm mad at the window. To be fair, to be fair to her, she's earned the pink dollar. Yeah, has through the years, big time. But Madonna's one of the first people to earn the pink dollar and share. Yeah, play to the, not very once much. They play, once they played up to the gay crowd, they've she's earned the gay crowd. Oh yeah, 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 they're hard to earn. I think I really do think you have to be a legacy artist to be taken on by the gay. Yeah, you have to have multiple uh, kind of yeah, face, faces faces yeah. to your act, don't you? You, you can't, can't just be, one, be a flash. Yeah, 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 you can't just be flashing the pan either. Like no. they're like, no. we'll take you under our wing forever. Yeah, Donna fucking, Summer. We'll start yeah. with her. Right, Donna you, Summer. Yeah. Right, she's got to be fucking good, yeah. man. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's the that's the thing I love about like you know. I don't know if people know what it's like when you're DJing and a lot of gay people walk in. It's like someone just went, you deserve this. Yeah, it's exactly. It's going to be great. It's going yeah. to be great. First yeah. of all, right, the floor is going to be full all night because yep. not only are they going to be dancing, they don't leave the floor. Because here's what I tell you <laughs> about gay people is gay people don't discard music. No, they keep it forever for themselves. Forever. It's, yeah. it's, if a banger is a banger and they'll hold on to that and there's nothing ironic about it. There's nothing like laughing. No, oh, remember this. It's like, sorry, excuse me. This is a fucking great day. The only he, thing I'll say about if you are a DJ in a place and a big horde of gay people come in, yeah, you're going to have a fucking great night. You know what you're going to play. They're all going to be dancing. They're going to get the whole rest of the room dancing. It's going to be great crack. But you better be in a place where they can't get you. You better be able to hide behind that DJ booth because no, every single one of them... You're not, are you thinking... <laughs> What they the will fuck? be over to you every fucking 30 <laughs> seconds with lists of songs to play. Oh, right. Jesus. I thought they for a minute they're like... Oh, no, they're not going to really go, drop going a going hand Mick, on you. No. I thought you were going to Mick the Bull there. No. I'm going to get their claws into you. Exactly. And then They'll, turn me a queer. Exactly. No. They are going to ask for songs consistently <laughs> and we're going to put the pressure on all night. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because they know <laughs> their value in that club. They walk in they go, fuck man, we just lit this place up. So they know their value and they're like, what can we... What not what what not what can we get away with? Like what do we deserve uh, right now? May, so they come, maybe, they do come they do come maybe, in and they will and if you maybe play half one, of it maybe half you, of that and if you play one you've opened the gates man that's, that's it, over. Done. But to be fair, to be fair, even if you did play their list, it's the only problem is we don't like getting lists as DJs because it takes completely Horrible. away from I'm it just takes a completely ju- away from just a jukebox box then. then yeah. So that's put the your headphones in. Put yeah. your headphones in. So, fuck so off it doesn't, the it doesn't yeah. give it doesn't give you any risk reward. No. It's, it's just no. part of the job. I like that. And, exactly. But to be fair, I hate it when you do get like five requests from the groups that come in. And you're like, they're all bangers, and I was gonna play them anyway. But now it looks like I'm gonna play them because you asked me to play them. Anyway, let's talk about American Boy. <laughs> um, she, Don Don Mc, Don McLean, said himself. Mm. We have his we have his rundown. Oh yeah, what did he say? He said, this version is a gift from a goddess. Oh, God. Have sex with me. No, it isn't. He said that her <laughs> version is mystical and sensual. It is those mystical. Aren't, those aren't the words I'd use. I'd use, I don't <laughs> know. It's mystical. Not, I'd, use, just... 
because Would of that weird, weird shite to him. Like, he probably never heard that before. Might use He's lethargic. Old. Yeah. Might use uh, harmless. Yeah, That's it's a very, really horrible word yeah. to use. It's very innocuous and lethargic. I go, but harmless is the one I'm going to go with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, American Daniela. Pie is not only a bad cover, it's fucking atro- atrocious. It's atrocious. But it's, it's a shrine idea. of a song. There are certain songs yeah. that shouldn't be touched. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, look, like I was talking about Risk Reward all the fucking time. This is a risk covering a, a classic. Mm. And to do it with such. You know, I wish. You know what I'd rather? She fucking went balls out and, and made a bags of it. Oh, yeah. Than just, than just delivering this late night karaoke Limp. at, at a mate's yeah. gaff version of it. Limp which shit. Is, which is actually yeah. more offensive because you didn't even try. It's just so, it's such a big song and a fucking legendary song. It's like, it'd be like someone doing like I don't know, uh, fucking purple haze or I, I don't even know. He's bigger than that. I don't even know. We purple uh, haze all in my head. Yeah, uh, fucking Man, bridge over troubled war. You know champions. I mean? <laughs> like I don't know. I don't know what. Pick a song that's gonna above reproach, and then approach it and fuck it up. Bad. This and release it as a single. Even really fucked up. It's just. I don't know. It's like you might as well talk it. Yes. Did Did you write the book of love? And do you have faith in God? Oh, it sound like William Shatner. Which actually would have been a better version. And do you? Uh, uh, God. I wish you had done something a bit mad, except add that really dated. Well, you didn't know the times. To be fair, that. Those loops were going to be so yeah. badly dated. This was a year before, like they flew planes into uh, the Twin Towers, and we had music got a little bit better for a while around then, except for mm. Brad Paisley and stuff like that. And other people going, everyone, oh god, did you see that thing during the week? Mm. I take responsibility. Uh, I can't watch it. I've seen people linking to it. I know exactly what so, it's going to be. So for anyone yeah. that doesn't know this, do you remember when COVID happened and a lot of celebrities went? I no one's listening to me. I'm I'm trapped in my house like a normal peon, and they got on their thing and they all sang. Uh, it was it imagine our beautiful day? One of those fucking uh, imagine, imagine. imagine. Day. They all sang it. In, they all sang it in different keys. Yes, and at different speeds and with different qualities. And uh, oh god, it was awful. Well, they've done that for white celebrities have gotten together for Black Lives Matter, and they've gone on this sort of montage video of them all giving monologues of how they take responsibility for turning a blind eye to things that they might have seen that were uh, creating racial diversity yeah. uh, in a bad way obviously and I have to say Sarah Paulson it, Sarah Paulson's amazing but when you see her acting for this yeah. it feels a bit acty yeah, but the worst of them all thing. was Aaron Paul I heard Brady. he was real bad like look at it Look at he. First of all, the problem is Aaron Paul can't really act. He's not good. Like I like him because yeah. he's so perfect for Breaking Bad, and I wouldn't change him yeah. for anyone in Breaking Bad. But the fact of the matter is, outside of that, he can't act. So he gets on this thing, and he does this thing where you know if you clasp your hands together, but your two fingers are pointing, so you're like you're half praying, but with yeah. your two fingers pointing, and he puts it under his nose and he takes it deep. Like, like here's the church, this is the steeple. Yeah. Open the doors, and here's the people. He's doing here's that. Here's all He's the white people. Yeah. I'm doing it's it now with my hands. Fucking. And what's your woman from Veronica Mars there with her big jaw? She's cool now. She's oh, uh, very pretty, but. Uh, yeah, and I, I know. Like, blondie girl. I, can't, I know, I know yeah. who you're talking about. Oh, fucking brain is not working. Uh, yeah, exa- I know exactly. She's in that movie that everyone loves, and I hate forgetting Sarah Marshall. Never seen it. Hate that film. I Shite. like Veronica Mars a lot. Um, and yeah, I never, that's cool. That's a uh, great show. Yeah. I never watched it when they brought it back, but. Um, they done like no, a redo a couple of years ago. We hoard and yeah, all. yeah. Um, what was my point? American Pie is this. That's the same thing. <laughs> okay, it I was going that. I just had to mention it was bad, and that concludes our twelve song list of Abominations Part Two. Is this? This isn't worse than the first one, but it's fucking just as bad. Yeah, but I don't think you're ever gonna find come across a playlist so perfect that it out abominations like the previous one. They no, should nearly yeah. all be taken together. Like we're not trying to outdo them; we're just adding to the list of dirt. Really, yeah. And um, which is fine. Uh, that's us for this week. <clears throat> we will be back next week with another podcast. We'll be back 
Saturday again with our live show. It's on Mixer.com forward slash Lost Art Podcast. Uh, we have our website. Instead of telling you where to go, go here, go there, go. Go to LostArtPodcast.com. has all the links for everything. Uh, what you should do is you should go to Patreon.com forward slash Lost Art Podcast and give us uh, $5 a month. Uh, keeps us going. Uh, pays for everything. And it's, uh, every single person who joins and pledges is much appreciated. And we love you all. And you get delicious free yeah, stuff. Yeah, because realistically we're putting out... So we're putting out two hours per podcast a week. So that's <laughs> loads of just podcasts. It's like 120 eight, hours a eight, year. And eight, then, a, hang on, eight a week for the podcast. Then there's four times four for the radio show. Four, four times four hours. And then possibly another two hour one for a patron. It's a lot of yeah. content for a fiver. Just yep. saying. Appreciate it. Is, it. it is. Appreciate uh, you. Uh, we appreciate you. Uh, yeah, you can go and do that. Uh, we will be back next week with some more delicious stuff. And uh, there was a favour, even if you don't want to go on the Patreon or fuck, go on to our Facebook page. And, uh, give That's it a real. share. If you enjoyed this, yeah, please give it a share. share. Tell yeah. your mates some. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Pat. Postman Pat. Good night. Thank you very much. See you later. <laughs>